Great Mills High School began its school day this morning at 7.45 a.m. like many other days. Except for on this day, a male student produced a handgun and fired around uh, wounding a female student and another male student in a hallway of Great Mills High School just before classes begun. The victims of the shooting were transported by uh, EMS and uh, the one male student went to MedStar St. Mary's Hospital is in stable condition. The female student was transported uh, to shock trauma facility is in critical condition. And I am told that at 1041 a.m. this morning, the shooter was confirmed deceased at uh, Charles uh, Regional Medical Center in La Plata. When the shooting took place, our school resource officer who was stationed inside the school was alerted to the, the event and the shots being fired. Uh, he pursued the shooter, engaged the shooter, during which that engagement he fired a round at the shooter. Simultaneously, the shooter fired a round as well. So in the hours to come, in the days to come, through detailed investigation, we will be able to determine um, if our school resource officer's round struck the shooter. Uh, the, the school resource officer is uninjured and was not struck by any firearm projectile. It was a mass response. You know, this is what we train for, this is what we prepare for, and this is what we pray that we never have to do. And on this day, we realize our worst nightmare, that our greatest asset, our children, were attacked in one of our places of uh, a bastion of safety and security, one of our schools. So obviously that's what we're talking about right now across the country. And you know, the notion of it can happen here uh, is no longer a notion. Uh, so despite training, you, you hope that you never have to do this, ever. And so now we're a very tight-knit tight, uh, tight -knit community. Um, and so now what I would ask our community to do would be pray for those victims and uh, hope that we can return to some type of normalcy in our schools and in our community.